where I remain, and I think most of my members remain troubled by the decision to put a date certain on the closing of Guantanamo. What will we do with these people? These are among the most dangerous killers in the world. Uh, we don't want to release these killers. We've had a vote in the Senate 94 to 3 against putting them in the United States. And the question remains, if you're going to close Guantanamo, from which no one has ever escaped, where will they go? The direction to his cabinet to save $100 million is not exactly heavy lifting, but in the spirit of friendship, we have a suggestion as to how he could make that a lot easier. And that's simply not to spend the $80 million that the budget allocates for the closing of Guantanamo. Saving $100 million, and we'll help the president do that. But that's a very small band-aid when major surgery is required. And the surgery is required on entitlement spending. The fact that the federal government is spending too much, taxing too much, borrowing too much. And unfortunately, the budget that was passed and the, the stimulus bill that was passed um, all call for more spending, more borrowing, and don't do anything to address the fundamental problem that Senator Alexander highlighted, and that is mandatory spending, the, the runaway growth of entitlement spending. You know, we need to, some focus on entitlement reform. A hundred million dollars in the overall scheme of things right now, Senator McConnell says, that's one day's interest on the stimulus bill that was passed earlier this year.